So some Muslims in Egypt rioted after there was a Facebook post posted uh, saying for Jesus to change the hearts of Muslim terrorists. I'm going to read this article from the Christian Post, which again shows the bloody and violent fruit that comes from Islam. Okay, it's from the Christian Post. It says, a group of Muslims reportedly rioted earlier in September in the village of Tawa in Minya, Egypt, during th uh, injuring three Christians and destroying homes and, and cars in anger against a Facebook post that called on Jesus Christ to touch the hearts of terrorists. Persecution Watchdog International Christian Concern reported on Monday that the attack took place on September 14th when a number of Muslims gathered in the village in front of Christian homes and shops, quote, they were pelting stones at the homes while shouting Allahu Akbar. Uh, they hurled bricks and stones at Mar Ejiris, Jirdris, St. George, Coptic Orthodox Church, despite the presence of some security guards who had been assigned to guard the church, but the guards couldn't confront the huge number of the mob, explained Issam, a Christian eyewitness in the town. I want to first point out that the Coptic Orthodox Church is not a Christian uh, uh, denomination, but it's not, not a Christian church. Because uh, obviously I don't believe in denominations, um, but it's not a Christian church. It's just Roman Catholicism repackaged, and Roman Catholicism is a pagan, Babylonian, Roman Greek cult. Okay, Roman Catholicism is not the faith once delivered unto the saints. It's a pagan, idolatrous cult that comes from Babylon, comes from Greece, comes from Rome. That's simple. And the Coptic Orthodox Church is just another branch of Roman Catholicism. It has the same idolatry, same paganism as the Roman Catholic Church. I want to point that out. Continuing, quote, the police arrived in the, uh, the police then arrived in the village, controlled the situation, and arrested Muslim villagers. The security forces have now deployed across the streets of the village, unquote. Anger apparently stemmed from a Facebook post written in May by a 22-year-old Christian resident of Tawa named Basim, who spoke against the Islamic State's terrorist attack in Minya, where 29 Egyptian Christians were massacred. Quote, are we cops, Egyptians, or are we Egyptians? Uh, not from Egypt. Uh, no matter that you try, no matter that you tried to hurt us, one day all of your ways will fail. Do you think that I cry? Never. I don't cry. I trust in Jesus very much. I prostrate tr prostrate to Him, and He loves me. He never leaves me one day. Unquote. The post read. And I have to give him an amen to that, even though the Coptic Orthodox Church is just Roman Catholicism repackaged. I do have to give an amen to that post. It is true. But this is more just more proof of the bloody and violent fruit that comes from Islam. You see, wherever Islam goes, murder, terrorism, and bloodshed, and violence, and Satanism follow close behind. Basic fact. And that the facts of history prove that. Genesis 16, 12 talks about Ishmael being a wild man, which is, you know, Muslims descended from Ishmael. That's simple. Actually, we're gonna get called Islamophobic for that. Don't care, you know. Islamophobia is just a word created by social liberal fascists to shut down any criticism of Islam. That's simple. So again, more proof of the bloody violent fruit that comes from Islam. So don't be deceived by Islam. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.